When buying a smoke alarm, make sure it has the label of an independent testing laboratory. For the best protection, you should have both photoelectric and ionization type smoke alarms. A photoelectric alarm is more responsive to smoldering fires, like a fire started by a discarded cigarette. An ionization alarm is more responsive to flaming fires, such as a grease fire on the stove. There are smoke alarms available that are both photoelectric and ionization. Look for features that are important to use, such as a hush button to temporarily silence a nuisance alarm. You need a smoke alarm in every bedroom, outside each sleeping area, and on every level of your home, including the basement. Interconnect the smoke alarms so that when one sounds, they all sound. Smoke alarms can be interconnected through your electrical system by a qualified electrician, or Wireless interconnected smoke alarms are now available that you can install yourself. Test all your smoke alarms at least once a month by pushing the test button like this. Replace batteries in all your smoke alarms, both hardwired and battery operated, once a year or when the alarm chirps, indicating a low battery. If your smoke alarm is more than 10 years old, it's time to replace it.